Hey, how's it going, y'all? I'm Gary Atkinson, and this is the first episode of Gardifacts, art and stories by me for you. In this show, I talk about African-American history, culture, and how it inspires my art. And in this episode, we're going to talk about John Merrick. So John Merrick is an American entrepreneur born into slavery in 1859 in Clinton, North Carolina. John and his family, after the Emancipation Proclamation, moved to Chapel Hill in around 1863. One of the first jobs John Merrick had was working as a bricklayer in construction. He also worked on the construction team that built Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is one of the first HBCUs in the South. Starting at square one, John Merrick was a barber, but before he became a barber, he worked in the barbering industry as a shoe shine boy or a boot black was the term that they used. And what he did was basically shine shoes. At the same time he was shining shoes, he knew that he wanted to become a barber. So what he did was he learned and he elevated. He paid attention to people cutting hair and eventually he was able to cut hair and he became a barber. John Wright, who was Merrick's co-worker, actually was going to start his own barbershop in Durham and he asked for John Merrick's help. So Merrick moved to Durham with his friend and he worked in his barbershop with him. Eventually, John Merrick bought stock in that barbershop and he became a co-owner. That was his first venture into entrepreneurship. At that point, he became successful in owning that barbershop. His partner, John Wright, actually sold the rest of his stock to John Merrick. And from there, he was the full owner of the barbershop. Experimenting and continuing with what worked. John and his investment partners, they were successful because they would find one thing that worked for them and they would continue to grow in that industry. And that's what John did with barbershops. He was successful with one barbershop. From there, he owned additional barbershops. From there, he ventured into investment in other areas, including real estate, banking, insurance, and even textiles, building and fostering relationships. John Mary's investment partners included John Wright, who was the first partner he had in barbershops. They also included people like W.A. Day, J.D. Morgan, and T.J. Jones, who he worked with to purchase the Royal Knights of King David Lodging Company. In that company, he basically got his first start into insurance, selling insurance to members of that lodging association. John also partnered with Aaron McDuffie, P.W. Dawkins, D.T. Watson, W.G. Pearson, E.A. Johnson, and James Shepard to found North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company in 1898. As a barber, some of John's clients were professors and business owners themselves. Some of John's most prominent clients were in the Duke family. John was able to persuade the Duke family to invest in Lincoln Hospital. Lincoln Hospital was built by John and his partners and financed by the Duke family. Lincoln Hospital was important because it served the black community in Durham. While John Merrick was in barbering school, he married his wife, Martha Hunter, in 1880. They had a beautiful life together and they had five children. With the success of his entrepreneurial ventures, John was able to build a really nice house for his family in an area called Sugar Hill, 
which was on the north end of Fayetteville Street. Something that all of us aspire to do is to be able to provide for our families. It's a great lesson that we can learn from John Merrick. When you are successful in the areas that work for you, you can share that success with your family. You can also teach them how to be entrepreneurs and pass down that wealth throughout the community. That brings me to my next lesson, investing in your community. John and his partners succeeded by building companies that met the needs of their community. Those needs were centered on education, financial services, beauty and health, and pharmaceuticals. Those companies included Mechanics of Farmers Bank and North Carolina Mutual Life Insurance Company, which are both around today. They also included Bull City Drug Company, the Durham Negro Observer, and the Durham Textile Mill, which was at one point the largest manufacturer of cotton hosiery in the world. So whether it was barber shops, libraries, banks, or mills, they had the people's best interests at heart. And that's how we should all think as entrepreneurs and as consumers. We want to be able to invest in our community. This spans all areas of commerce, education, arts, and politics. Okay, guys, so this is my story about John Merrick. Please leave your comments below. I want this to be a conversation. So let me know what you want to learn about next. Okay, guys, so this is my first episode of Guard of Facts. Let me know what you thought. Leave your comments below. I want this to be a conversation piece. And check out GuardOfFacts.com, where you can see my artwork that's inspired by John Merrick and plenty other products that I designed for you. Now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell, and I'll see you next time on Guard of Facts.